Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna show you how to rank in Google Maps using Google Reviews. Watch this. Hey guys, this fella Darren was my friend. He was from Retel SEO and he passed away on November 14th, uh, 2021. Uh, I miss him dearly and Darren, this video is for you, brother. All right, guys, so I hope everybody's doing great. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to increase your Google Maps rankings by using reviews, right? So this is really important. I get a lot of questions on how do I use reviews. So I'm gonna show you the most basic, easy way so you could get this started this week, all right? So the first thing I'd like you to do is type in the town that you registered your Google business profile in. Today, I am using the uh, example Dunedin, Florida. Okay, so what I do is I just type in Dunedin, Florida, and I go over to Maps, and I just click that. Okay, now there's a reason why I'm doing that. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'd like you to just do this. You notice that there's a red outline around the town in Dunedin. This is where I'd like you to focus on getting your reviews. So step one is to actually look at the map and look inside this area. This is the reviews in this area are going to help you rank uh, as soon as possible. Right. So step one is I'd like you to take a look and see and, and look at the map. And now step two. Two is I'd like you to go through your phone and go through your Facebook friends and find all your customers that you've done business with that you haven't sent a review link to. Now, I want you to understand something. If you only have 10 or 15 reviews, please do not get 10 or 15 reviews this week because, you know, you found this, this little secret that I'm going to teach you. What you want to do very simply is just send out um, a review link to three to five people per week. And in the next slide, I'm going to show you how to do that. But the first thing you need to do is take a look in this area and you want your reviews only coming from this area, from people who live and or work in this red area. You're going to have to look at the red area. Look at your phone, look at your Facebook, say, okay, Jill lives on Solana Avenue. Uh, Joe is owns the Dunedin Cove Mo Motel. I did a plumbing job for him right over there. And uh, uh, I have a friend, Jane, that lives on uh, Beltris Street uh, that, that I did some work for, right? So only people in the red area were going to send this link in. In the next uh, slide, I'm going to show you how to send the link. It's really simple. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button. It gets the channel out to more people just like you who are looking for this information. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, so I have two ways that you're going to be able to send links. The first way is super simple. You're just going to go to the back end of your Google business profile, copy the link and send it. So let me show you how to do that. Super, super easy. In fact, most people here probably already know how to do that. So you type your brand name into Google. So mine is MindSaw. Make sure you log in with the Gmail account that you registered your Google business profile with. And you'll see this area right here. So actually it'll look like this. Hit the down arrow. And you just click ask for reviews. Now, here's the thing with this link. If you send this link out to too many people, Google won't post your reviews. Because what it shows to Google is that you're just copying this link and you're pasting it and you're sending it uh, to, all, you know, to all your customers and you're getting you know, a lot of reviews at one time. That's why you don't want to get a lot of reviews at one time. If you only have 15 reviews, just get around three to five reviews per week. I, I, would, I would caution on the side of, of three per week if you only have 15, 20 reviews at the time, okay? So you take this review link, you, you send it over to your phone, and uh, the next time you go visit a, a customer, 
you you send the review link, you text the review link, and you ask them for uh, you know you ask them for a review. Um, in the meantime, before you visit a customer, you have some old customers that you haven't received reviews yet for. So just very simply, you'll give them a call and say, "Hey, look, I, we forgot to ask you for a review. Would you mind sending us a? Uh, would you mind giving us a review? Here's the review link, and you just send it right over to them, and and that's the end of the story. Now, that's one way of getting reviews. The second way of getting reviews, and this is a little more advanced method, is to just go to the Google 3-pack. So I typed in roofer near me, right? So this shows that somebody is looking for a roofer near me. And I clicked trust roofing. I just clicked anyone. And then I clicked reviews. And I got to this point right here. Now it used to be, where you could get them to this point, and I'll show you what I mean. So what I do is I just copy this link up on top, and this URL shortener I like is called tinyurl.com. And the reason why is because you could create a QR code, you could share it right from here, right? So it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Now I've already done this, so I could uh, save some time and what I'll do is I'll take this link and I'll send it over to a customer also, a, a couple of customers also, and it'll get, get us to this point, but you have to let them know to click write a review, right? Because they may not know. So click write a review and it'll get you right to, the, to this point. So naturally you don't want to do this with much older people. Some of you younger people will already know how to do that. Now, let me show you why this is important. This is important because what you're doing here is you're showing Google that somebody actually did a search for roofer near me and clicked your listing, right? So, so some of your links you want to send that you sent them and some of the links you, you want to show that the client actually did a search, used a keyword because the keyword is actually in the search string. So you'll get credit for that. You know, a lot of people try to rank for roofer near me and they, they change their business name to roofer near me or Thai food near me or, you know, whatever, whatever their business name is, uh, or they add it to their website 500 times. But a big factor is, is people doing a search for that keyword, your business near me or the, or the, or the uh, service that you provide near me, roofer near me, plumber near me. So what you're actually doing is you're showing Google that somebody did a search for that keyword and clicked your website. All right, guys. All right, guys. So now what you want to start doing is you want to start looking at other uh, businesses' reviews, and you want to start pulling out the words that are in bold, these dark letters here. Notice this one says, most trustworthy worthy roofers I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And that's all in bold. That's all in bold. So I would definitely add that to one of my reviews. I may change it around slightly, but I would use that term because it's in bold. And what I would do is I would just, you know, look at other people's reviews and look at these reviews and see if there's any reviews where some of the keywords are in bold. And I would use those keywords on my on my review. Now, something else that's very important is please have clients take pictures, right? So even if you're a chiropractor, uh, have them take pictures of your office, the front, the, the reception area, and upload them when they're doing the review. That really, really helps. And I have one more thing for you. Something that's overlooked all the time is these little icons right here. Now, sometimes you'll see like a uh, exclamation point, or sometimes you'll see like a, uh, a check mark over here. And sometimes you'll see a person. Now, the exclamation point means that there's a Google My Business, a Google Business profile post that they did using the keyword, for example, roofer, or they um, in their products, they, they use the product and they use the word roofer in their Google business profile. But you'll notice that 
the thing that's really driving Google business profile now, meaning the maps area, is the one with the is the icon with the person. Now, this person here means that this was done in a review. I mean, this was a review. So this is this, you know, this has a lot of strength. So you'll see right here, this one was a review. This one was a review. This one was a review. And another one. This one was a review, right? See. Google is really using these user signals as a driving force for ranking in Google Maps. Notice these are all person reviews. You don't see any exclamation points. You don't see any check marks. You see all person, meaning that these are all reviews. Uh, guys, another thing, please do not buy reviews. It's not worth it. Your, your, your account has a chance to get canceled. Just go by the Google rules. Just go by what um, what they say you can and can't do. Make sure that when somebody's doing a review, not everybody's an expert 5.0 writer. Let them mention your business name. Let them mention your name. Let them mention the service that was used, right? I, I once tell a story about one of my best customers. I asked him for a Google review. He gave me a five-star review, and he said, Mindsaw is great. That's it. You just said Mindsaw is great. And while Mindsaw may be great, that did nothing for my rankings, right? So you want to make sure that they that they add those uh, those terms in. Always use the keyword. You have to use the keyword. And if they can use the area, like, for example, I'm a homeowner in, um, in Dunedin, and I needed a roof. I needed roof repair. Uh, John came out right? Stuff like that. He was fast, affordable. You want to use those keywords also. So you want to kind of think about your review before you actually uh, ask for a review. You may want to have maybe a card written down. Like I said, you can't tell people what to say, but they don't know what to write. So you may want to, you know, guide them, let them know to use the service in your business name. They may, they may even forgot the name of your business. I've seen that before, right? <laughs> Where they put the wrong business name and you don't want to do that. Guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Now, all this review stuff is great, and it's great ranking in the Google 3-pack, but the most important thing is your family, right? But there's one common theme that we're all trying to work to improve our financial status, to, uh, to help our families, to put, put our kids through school, to uh, do the things to make uh, lasting memories. And that's something that I want to think about. So always be nice to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.